The T-Jet 70 Series Dual RPM Monitor provides accurate measurement of spinner speed on your BBI spreader. Included with the spinner monitor kit is the power cable which runs from the battery to the monitor, the monitor itself, the cable which runs from the monitor to the left and right hand spinner speed sensors, the two spinner speed sensors, and the brackets which hold the sensors. There are two optional extension cables that can be ordered if needed. Part number one, 091141, is a 10 foot extension that runs from the monitor to the cable. Part number one, 010565, is a 10 foot extension that runs from the cable to the individual speed sensors. These extensions may be ordered to allow the T-Jet 70 Series dual RPM monitor to fit any tractor and spinner spreader configuration. To turn the T-Jet 70 Series on, click the Pro button in the top left corner. When you turn on the monitor, the software name and software version number will be displayed. Once you're on the home screen, you will see the RPM displayed for both the left and right hand spinners. If you click the down arrow while in operation, the monitor will display the deviation between the left and right hand spinner speeds. This value may be used to trigger an alarm if desired, which will be explained later on in this video. If you would like to turn the monitor off, press the up and down button simultaneously and the monitor will shut down. To navigate to the program menu, click and hold the Pro button for three seconds. From here, there are four functions that can be adjusted, left hand spinner setup, right hand spinner setup, spinner RPM differential setup, and alarm setup. You can navigate through these four function menus by using the up and down arrows on the right side of the monitor and clicking the Pro button to enter and make adjustments to the given function. To exit the program menu, click and hold the Pro button and the monitor will return to the main screen. To set up the left and right hand spinners, enter the program menu by holding the Pro button for three seconds. The first option will show RPM setup with an arrow pointing to the left. This is the setup for the left hand spinner. To enter, click the Pro button and a pulses per revolution title will be displayed with a number below. This number value is the number of set screws that are being used to read the speed of the spinner. You can use the arrow buttons to adjust this value. On BBI spinner spreaders, there is one set screw used on the spinner sensor. Set the pulses per revolution to one and click the Pro button to confirm. Then by clicking the down button, you will see the RPM setup with an arrow pointing to the right for the right spinner setup option. Click the Pro button and ensure the pulses per revolution is set to one for the right hand spinner. Click the Pro button to confirm. To set up the alarm options, enter the program menu by holding the Pro button for three seconds. Click the down arrow until you see the RPM differential setup option. Click the Pro button to enter the RPM differential alarm function. From this menu, you can use the up and down buttons to adjust the differential percentage value, which will trigger an alarm. If you do not want an alarm to trigger for this function, set the RPM differential to 0%. Once the value is set to where you prefer, click the Pro button to confirm. From the program menu, you can navigate to the alarm setup function and click the pro button to make changes to the alarm settings. The first alarm that can be set is the lower RPM limit for the left spinner. The lower limit is indicated by the arrows pointing down. To enter a lower limit, use the up and down arrow buttons to adjust the RPM. If you do not wish to set an alarm, set the RPM value to zero. Once the desired alarm value is set, press the pro button to confirm. The same alarm option can be adjusted for the left RPM upper limit, the right RPM lower limit, and the right RPM upper limit. You can make adjustments to each of these as desired with the up and down arrow buttons and clicking the pro button to confirm the given value. Once the desired alarms are set, you can press and hold the pro button to return to the main spinner speed display screen. Your T-Jet 70 series dual spinner speed monitor is now ready for operation in the field.